<laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah! Hello, lads! My name is Austin Powers, in case you didn't know. And I'm here in place of Shaneology and Shaney Entertaining. My good friend Shaney asked me, Austin, people on Twitter are tweeting all about you, man. They want to know what you think of the new Mandalorian. Well, I said, I'm extremely flattered, and I'd do you a solid any time, Shaney. And so here I am, man. <laughs> Don't forget to smash the like button and do subscribe to Shaney, for he is a very groovy guy. <laughs> so... Without further ado, what do I think of The Mandalorian? I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And I have to admit that I didn't like the direction of Star Wars. Nor was I very happy with what they did to my hero Luke Skywalker. Ryan Johnson, that wasn't cricket, man. They made Star Wars lose its mojo. Now here we are, but just Star Wars fans. Star for something that is shagadelic. And what did we get? We got something that was fab, baby! He was switched on! He was a bit of alright! Yeah, baby! Yeah! The first episode of The Mandalorian was groovy, man. It had everything that I liked. It had good solid action, great effects, the proper amount of nostalgia, a very shagadelic western feel to it too, man. Not to mention a great hook and twist at the end. Everything you could have asked for, really. Well, except for one thing. There wasn't enough Mandalorian. If you know what I mean. <laughs> girl, baby. Very girl. <laughs> I mean, for so long, we were waiting for something good from Lucasfilm, right? I mean, my twig and berries were starting to shrivel waiting for it. Hello, lad. You're still awake? <laughs> so here we are. We took a long time before we got to this point, And I got to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. And it really does seem as though, possibly, Star Wars could get its mojo back. Can't speak for episode 9, but at least for this series anyway. Which is a positive sign. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? What are you doing? You fool! Who are you? I am Skeletor from Eternia. I am pirating your broadcast from an interdimensional portal. What's the meaning of this? I am tired of all these Star Wars fans swinging the other direction on their opinion on Star Wars. Swinging? <laughs> I put the gear in swinger, man. <laughs> Listen up, you perverted Swedish pump pumping fool. Mm, yeah, that's right. I'm not so easily swayed by one half-decent episode of one Star Wars show. That doesn't erase the insult that was The Last Jedi, and it never will. Listen, man, I understand your frustration. I really do. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta take a break and smell the roses. We got something half-decent. It's time for you to appreciate it. You can't live in anger your whole life. Listen, I have dignity. I don't know about the rest of you. I'm not going just to turn over and lick Mickey Mouse's scrotum like the rest of you. Listen, man, you're going the right way for a smack bottom. You may be a master debater, but I'm a cunning linguist. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you fool. I'm not saying that this was a bad show, but I will say this. You're setting a very dangerous precedent by fawning and praising this episode like you fools are doing. You're sending a very dangerous message that we, fans, are so easily pleased with a few shiny trinkets and some flashy effects. One episode does not erase the travesty that was The Last Jedi. Never will. Listen, Skeletor, I'm really sorry, man. Sorry for what? I'm sorry that Bug Up Your Ass hasn't died yet. <laughs> You're up to it, Skeletor. You know what you need? One of my sensual massages. It'll make you a nicer person. Nice! I don't want to be nice. I hate nice. Let me ask you one question, man. There's got to be something that you liked about this episode. Well... There was one thing. But just in case you guys want to know, this could very well be a spoiler, so just a fair warning. Well, I am ashamed to admit it, but I did kind of like the whole Baby Yoda. You like Baby Yoda? <laughs> That's so cute and nice. I said I hate being nice. Stop calling me nice. Too late, man. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. I've said my piece, and you are all warned. Do not give in to Disney so easily, or they will think you're a joke. All right, duly noted. Thanks for coming on to my show, which is not really a calling show, but I don't know. There you go. Get us all out. <laughs> He's one creepy guy. What's going on with his face, man? I wonder if his bits and pieces match his face, man. <laughs> you know, no foreskin. <laughs> 
we to tick, we've got a caller. That's really odd considering, you know, it's not a call-in show. Hello there. Hello, who is this? Hi, I just want to say that I agree with your last caller. Wait a minute, I recognise that voice. Dr. Evil, is that you? That's right, Mr. Powers. Tis I, Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Evil, well, it's no surprise that you two evil geniuses agree. This Pandalorian ain't all that in a bag of potato chips. Come on, man. Baby Yoda, give me a freaking break. You actually trust Walt Disney to handle the origin of Yoda after what they did to Luke Skywalker. Give me a freaking break here. What is this, the Twilight Zone? You guys were consistently moaning about the state of Star Wars. And now for one episode of a decent show, you guys are willing to forget all of that and are willing to pay Disney one billion dollars in Disney Plus subscription. You guys need to check yourselves before you wreck yourselves. Well, come on, man. Admit it. You liked the show, right? You had to have liked something. Well, there was something I liked. What was that? There was lots of laser beams. You and the bloody laser beams. There's more to like than lasers, you know. I don't know. I just like them. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, we've heard your piece, and we've heard Skeletor's piece. Now here's mine, man. This was a smashing show, and I'm hoping that Disney's getting its mojo back, because that's what it's all about, isn't it, guys, right? That's what all this fuss was, right? It was about Disney writing the ship and getting to enjoy good Star Wars again, right? Perhaps we've got good Star Wars. So let's keep optimistic, shall we? Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to smash that like button. And subscribe to my homie, Shady Entertainy. Otherwise known as Shaneyology. That's right, man. That cat's fab. He's switched on. He's a bit of all right. <laughs> and let us know in the comments. Are you willing to forget Lucasfilm and Walt Disney Star Wars for what they've done? Or are you just happy that you're getting to see some good Star Wars again? Let us know in the comments, alright? Thank you very much, man. Till next time. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah!